Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in this video I wanted to show you how I created a micro quasar in one of the previous videos where I essentially had a relatively small black hole that had very beautiful relativistic uh, jets around it and also an accretion disk. Now this is actually not an official sort of way of doing this, so I'm going to show you the trick on how you can do this yourself in Universe Sandbox. Um, and um, basically what we're creating is something similar to this simulation here where you have two pulsars but unlike um, a micro quasar which is actually a black hole this is a neutron star so we don't really want to have a neutron star we want to have an actual black hole in the middle so how do we do this well um, it's actually relatively easy you can normally even start with a planet if you wanted to and turn it into a black hole but i think the easiest way is to well let's actually go back to the simulation i just had and what we're going to do is we're going to create um, a pulsar here that has those jets first. Uh, now, if you just take an, a regular pulsar from a collection of pulsars here, uh, like for example, the most famous one, Crab Pulsar, unfortunately, it doesn't really have the jets here. There's no accretion disk, there's no jets. And um, unless I'm missing something, which I don't think I am, there's no way for us to add this, even if we add the magnetic field to it. So this doesn't really change anything. So that's not the way to create these. But there is a, a trick to it. And what you do is you start with a white dwarf. I'm going to take Sirius B, which is actually the closest white dwarf to our solar system. It's only a few light years away from us. And here, um, what I want to make sure is that it actually does have uh, some magnetic field. So we're going to give it a little bit of magnetic field, uh, maybe just to, uh, a little bit to start. And you'll see that as soon as you do that, it gets those jets right away. And that's actually a start. Now, technically, um, what you could do is actually click this button here, make pulsar, and it's going to change it into a pulsar that has even better looking uh, jets and also a very nice accretion disk. But uh, we don't want it to be a white dwarf, so what we're going to now change is, first of all, its mass, and second of all, um, we're going to change it into a black hole. But here's the thing though, if you change its mass to about 1.4 masses of the sun, it's going to reach its uh, chandra zakar limit and it's actually going to go supernova. It's going to be type 1a supernova, just like in real life. And so what you want to do here is, first of all, we're going to disable this calculate radius and we're going to now um, go into masses of the sun and Let's just give it like 20 masses of the sun, so it's a little bit more realistic for a microquasar. Uh, we're then going to lock this so that the mass doesn't change anymore. And finally, reduce its radius. You could technically reduce it manually, although what I'm going to do, and as, you, as you can see, it actually changed into something a little different, uh, Black Dwarf now. Uh, what I'm going to do is actually reduce its um, radius to about 5 kilometers. And this will automatically change it into an actual black hole. And now, as you can see, this black hole also has, um, if I zoom out a little bit, or actually, it's much easier to do the following. Uh, we're going to reduce the magnetic field. There you go. This black hole now has a very, very cool um, accretion disk and also very beautiful jets emanating from both sides. And so that's kind of how you can manually make a micro quasar and make it specifically to how you want it to be by changing the values here as well. If you don't want it to actually spin as much, change this to zero. And there you go. There's your microquasar that has two jets pointing in a single direction and also um, has this beautiful accretion disk around it. Uh, that's kind of difficult to see, I guess, uh, but you can change the size of it by changing the magnetic field here. And so in essence, this is how I created this uh, beautiful uh, microquasar, although as you may have uh, learned in the video I made previously, the actual length of these jets in the microquasar is much, much higher. It's like 130 light years. In this case, though, it's much, much lower, which is simply because this is uh, just a model. Anyway, so that's how you can create your own microquasars in Universe Sandbox. And it's a little trick that allows you to create uh, these beautiful shapes with uh, these amazing relativistic jets pretty much out of any object. So hopefully now you know how to do it. Thank you for watching. And in the next video, you're going to learn something else about space, sciences, and the universe. So do subscribe if you still haven't. Share this video with someone who loves learning about space and come back tomorrow to learn something else. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Space out. And as always, bye-bye.